Hello viewers, here is a General Electric clock radio. This is a model 7-4636D. Made in Malaysia. And there's the date code, which I don't know how to read. And the quality check, I don't know what in the world that means. So, um, let's see. Oh dear, there's a battery in it. Fortunately, it's not a door cell. Otherwise, it would be a leaking freak show. But I'm going to take that out anyways. This battery is from, uh, well, it's expiring last year in 2018. So, this probably, this clock was probably used up until recently. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. The speaker is very small. It only is about that big, which is kind of odd. It only goes to about there. Because on a lot of these, the speaker is pretty large and it fills almost the entire grill there. And hopefully this still sounds good. I don't know. Alright, let's plug it up. It's a non-polarized plug. It is now plugged up and it does appear to be working, at least to some extent. I think these buttons could certainly use a cleaning, as you can see they're behaving a little bit erratically, but they are working. Right now it is 8.03 p.m., so we'll go down to 6, 7, and of course this one does not have the reverse, so you kind of got to play this game and go real carefully. Now it overshot by three minutes, but I'm not going to worry about it for a video. So, um, let's see here. On the right side we have the frequency modulation, amplitude modulation, switch the volume control, which I'm going to start with all the way down. I was almost all the way up. Start all the way down. Tuning control. Does we have a dimer on this thing? Doesn't look like it. So I guess the brightness is just whatever the brightness is. Okay. So let's do on. That's not very promising. Oh, there we go. Just in the case of the button needs to be cleaned. Start all the way up at uh, 108. That's 106.7 with Christmas music. This isn't getting very many stations at all. Oh, uh, there we go. I wasn't holding the antenna very well, I guess. That's awful. I don't know what that is. That's kind of awful too. Night on the Star 99.9 Shooting Stars Countdown. Post Malone Circle. It's off. And number three tonight, this song just sounds like the fall. We'll protect you and... Come on, I'm an angel. 
gas That's 97.5 with Christmas music. That may be 95.9. This is probably 95.1. That's awful. That's 92.5. That may be 91.7, perhaps? That's probably 91.1. That's probably 89 and a half. Or maybe 88.1. No, that's probably 88.1. Maybe that's 88.1. Yeah, then this must be 88.9 maybe, and then this is probably 89.5, 91.1, 91.7, So that seems to be working. Let's go back to the copyright free station. The quality is not terrible, but it's certainly not not that good either. The frequency response is pretty limited on both ends of the spectrum. Okay, um, so let's set it to... Oh, it's got two, two alarms. That's cool. So, let's see here. Alarm number one is uh, on 12 o'clock, so let's change it to like 8, 8, 13 perhaps. 8, 7, 8, 8 is 7, 819, okay. And then we're going to do this one onto alarm so we can hear what that sounds like. I'm just going to bump this head a little bit. That is adjustable by the volume. Okay. And then uh, test the radio alarm. So bump the head a few more minutes. And we'll do music. And that came on as it should have. So this is working. Um, and aside from being a little disappointing on the sound quality end of the spectrum, which is kind of unusual for these, almost all of them that I've worked with anyways sound quite good. Um, this is more than satisfactory for a clock, but um, there's definitely other ones that sound better. Well, anyways, it works and it's in pretty good condition, so this will be a nice one to have somewhere. Thank you for watching.